What's going on YouTube? All right, so this tutorial right here is gonna be a high top fade. You can already tell right now, man. It's gonna be like that kid and play look from House Party. So let's get started. All right, so I'm starting with my Oscar Fast Feeds with the number two guard on there with the lever open. And I'm just gonna knock off this bulk. And um, I'm going straight up into the hair. I'm not gonna dig in. I'm not gonna create that. Um, I'm not going to create myself a line or anything like that. I'm just going straight up, knocking off that bolt. And then I'm going to come back and fade with the one guard. He doesn't like it too, too short on the side. So it's going to have, it's going to be light, but not too light. I am using the double magnetic guards. So right here, I got my one guard. And I'm going to start with my first initial guideline with the lever closed Alright, see I open up the lever in the middle and then I'm going to open it all the way in. I'm not going to dig in, I'm not going to cut into the hair, I'm just going to go with that one and a half straight up. Straight into that two, or that two and a half. See how I'm going straight up? I'm, I'm kind of using that, like that flicking motion, but almost like a C cup. I'm just bringing it towards me, I'm not digging in. And his hair texture is pretty tricky with this type of haircut. It's not too thick. It has a, a lighter texture to it, a thinner texture to it. So this this flat top is a little tricky. But I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to create a nice blend into the flat top. This is a little bit of clipper over comb action. And notice how I'm going straight up with that comb. I'm just knocking off some bulk. And I'm bringing that comb towards me. I'm not, I'm not leaving that comb flat in or digging in. I'm gonna do, do a lot of freehand techniques with this flat top as well. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to the other side, with that two and a half. It's a two guard with the lever open, so that's why I'm saying two and a half. This kid is like a splitting image of kid. <laughs> he gets it all the time, so. All right, so I'm starting with the one guard on this side as well. Put the lever in the middle and I'm gonna open it all the way. I am gonna taper the back of the neck. I appreciate all the support, all the love, all the, um, prayers sent my way for my surgery um, I do my surgery on Thursday so hopefully I have another video lined up for y'all it's been kind of hectic at the shop all right so we're gonna start balding off the, the back of the neckline with the lever closed which is a zero all right, right there I put it into the middle and then I'll open it all the way up all the way up
All right, so right now it's at a half. So you know that there's a one on the on the most of the haircut, right? There's the highest guard that you're using is a one. So that right there, that line right there, you're gonna knock off with the one sixteen guard or your half guard or zero guard, whatever you want to call it. And you may see some some uh, lines or a little bit of hair that you need to fade out. So I'll, as I went with the half with the lever all the way open, I came back down and worked my way down. And now I'm using the half guard. I always start with the lever open and then I put it into the middle and then I'll close it. start lining them up with my GTXT outliners they are modified I did cut the plastic off that way I could get around the ears a little better and on the mustache area with the dolts that way the plastic part of the trimmer doesn't sit on the clients nose and, and create like that vibration or irritation or it's, it's super it's not it's not comfortable for the client so the only thing is when you do modify your trimmers like this, you do lose the factory warranty. So if you don't want to lose it, then don't do it. And right here, he, he has real light sideburns. So he does want to point it as much as possible. So I'm going to start right there. It's kind of like a ghost line, like my imaginary point that I want to have right there. And then I just start using the C cup, the corner of the blade to create that, that C cup. Kind of looks square, it's just his hair is real light. But I don't want to cut into it. I don't want to create a, a real detailed point. Just try and get that C cut real nice. So we're gonna line up the other side of the neck and the sideburn. I will be out of work for probably about three weeks, maybe a month. Um, so I know that sucks, but I gotta get it done. My knee is, is very bad, it's real painful. Um, especially with the line of work that I do standing up all day so I just want to get it over with get the surgery I did it from playing basketball so um, just a, just some tips if you're a barber it's, we are self-employed so make sure you get some insurance so you can get covered you never know what ha what's gonna happen so always be prepared So this is the fun part. We're gonna start picking out the top of his hair. You wanna get it even all the way around. Pick it all out. Get in there. Kid has hair like this, and he kinda of like, think he, it hurts him when you pick it out, then he's not taking care of it. This kid takes real good care of his hair, so. All right, so I'm spraying some hairspray, trying to get the hair to stay in one place so it doesn't move whenever I freestyle the top. Pick it out one more time after the hairspray. All right, so this right here is like, it's like sculpting the hair. I'm going straight up on the sides. I'm using my Oscar Fast Feet do this but I do switch to my wall cordless clippers just cuz um, they were cutting a little better than these doing the freestyle sculpting with the 
flat top. And then you just want to go straight up on the back as well. And you don't want to dig in from that two and a half is just going to blend right in into the top. So whatever you do, don't dig in, don't just make sure it's straight all the way around. And that hairspray is helps as well. You can see how the hair is staying in one place. It's not, it's not moving. It's not, it's not pushing in. And you can see the texture of his hair. It's a very tricky haircut on his texture of hair. He is mixed though. He has a little bit of both textures of hair. It's real curly. Notice how I keep looking at the other side to make sure it's all even. Alright, with the front, you kind of want to go off of the client's forehead up with this one. And if it does, if it still looks like it's slanted, then kind of dig in just slightly to make it real straight. Remember, you're creating a box. You're creating almost like if you were to put a box over the over the client's head and then take it off, that's how you want want the look to be at, at, as a finished product. It's already starting to come together. I love doing haircuts like these, afros, flat tops, with the step, the juice, hopefully I find a client that lets me do that, I can put this as a video for y'all. Alright, so now we're freehanding the top, and you just want to go start in the middle, you want to go straight back, and then that's going to be your guideline, and then you just follow that all the way through on the sides. Here I switched my clipper and then, then it just started cutting like butter. You'll see the difference. You always want to make sure the client's head is straight. It's going to help you out to see what hair needs to be cut. See, it's already coming together. I'm just going straight up on the sides, going straight up on the back and, and flat on top. And you want to stand at different angles. You want to stand on the side of the client, the back, the front. A trick that I learned in barber school was put like a white towel behind the client's head, especially if he has real dark hair or even this, this color hair and you can see any hair sticking up or whatever. Whatever hair that needs to be cut, you'll see it sticking out if you put a white towel behind the canvas. All 
All right, so now we're gonna start his front edge. And we're just gonna keep it as natural as possible. His edge is a little bit cosmetic, but that's why I'm combing the baby hairs down. That way I don't have to cut into it too much. He has a natural, um, a natural edge that that has to go a little further back on the sideburns. So I'm not pushing this hairline back. I'm just pushing it to where the uh, sideburn meets. It's kind of tricky to do the freestyle like this on sculpting the top of the head and then doing an the edge like this because it's kind of hard not to touch the top of the client's head. You know how you have to control the, the head to edge. But I do these a lot so I kind of just hold the, the front of his head right there in place so it doesn't move. And you can see where the sideburn meets Yes, that has to be cut right there. I'm not pushing this hairline back. Right there is where I'm gonna put it. And that hair is just dangling over, so it's not part of his edge, so calm down. I'm not pushing this edge up back. <laughs> I'm keeping it right there. I'm not going any further. Nice, crispy, and natural. last finishing touches this haircut probably took me about 45 minutes all right so go back and use your shears to clean all the little hairs that are sticking up to make it real nice and flat Alright, I'm going to show you a little trick right here. I just grabbed one of our flyers and kind of push the top of the hair down the side, the front, the back. Get it real nice and flat, real nice and straight for the gram, for YouTube, for y'all. Here's the finished product. That's that house party, kid and play flat top on my young man right here. I think it came out fresh. What do y'all think? Ooh wee, that's nice. Eat a sandwich on his head. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you subscribe, share, comment, everything. This is the finished product. Flat top, one on the sides with the Oscar Fast Feeds. Make sure y'all show me some love. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share. Here's my social media where y'all can find me at.